and the encounter took place inside a government medical college. This is the big breaking news that we are currently tracking at the moment, viewers. A police encounter has taken place inside a government medical college where a police probationer sub-inspector Deepak Sharma has succumbed to his injuries. The cop has been killed in action. A gangster has also been killed in the encounter inside the government medical college. And another cop has been injured in the encounter. We have uh, Gursimran joining us on the phone line. Gursimran, good morning to you. What What is the encounter about and uh, what are the latest developments in this case? See, it was at around 10.30 late last night at the Government Medical College in the Katua when a team of Ramgad police that reached the spot based on the information that a group of gangsters is there. And when they reached inside the premises of the Government Medical College, two uh, gangsters, including one identified as Vasudev, he opened fire. The first shot was uh, on the PSI, the Probationer Sub-Inspector Deepak Sharma. Uh, the bullet hit him at his head and he fell unconscious. In the retaliatory action, the gangster Vasudev Sudev was killed and when PSI uh, Deepak, Kumar, Deepak Sharma was taken to the hospital in the Pathan court district, he succumbed to his injuries. One SP Anil Kumar has also sustained injuries during this encounter that has taken place. Uh, the uh, sub-inspector Deepak uh, Sharma was posted in the Ramgarh police station and he has been handling this case, the case of the Akshay murder case when these gangsters, a group of gangsters killed a person in the Ramgarh area. Republic also reported that uh, when they took away the chopped hand of uh, the uh, Akshay from the Ramgarh area and that was one of the sensational cases of this year uh, that how gangsters are getting a free run in Jammu and Kashmir but now with this encounter this also raises a concern that even the, secure, uh, the Jammu and Kashmir police has been fired upon so this shows that these gangsters are equipped with the sophisticated weapons as well uh, now coming uh, to uh, Deepak Sharma he was posted in the Ramgarh police station of the Samba district the senior officers of the Samba police as well as the Katua police. They are at present at the Government Medical College in Katua where the post-mortem of the PSI Deepak Sharma is being performed and soon after that his body will be taken, the mortal remains will be taken to his native place in the Udampur where in his uh, last rites will be performed. The senior officials of the Jammu and Kashmir police including DGP RR Swine will be taking part in the wreathling ceremony in an hour's time from now and then he will be laid to the uh, final rest but this is is really concerning and also the what uh, the sources in the Jammu and Kashmir police are telling us that uh, the lapses that have happened during the execution of this entire operation they will be uh, worked upon there will be responsibilities that will be fixed in days to come regarding this major lapse that has led to the life of this brave heart PSI Deepak Sharma who uh, made the supreme sacrifice during an encounter with the gangsters and also multiple teams have been formed to nab the gangsters one has been killed but we are told that at least two to three gangsters of this group they are still at large and the efforts are on to nab them at an earliest right Gursimran now manhunt has been launched to nab the remaining gangsters but stay on with us uh, because we have more news coming in from Jammu and Kashmir because the police have announced a 10 lakh reward on terrorists on top Lashkar commander who was sent was sent money for terrorists to fight court cases. Now 10 lakh cash reward on the whereabouts of Qasim alias Suleiman has been announced. Mohammed Qasim Gujar, remember viewers, orchestrated the attack on Vaishno Devi pilgrims in 2022 and the IED attacks in Jammu and Kashmir in Jammu in 2023. Now a 10 lakh rupees reward has been announced for whoever gives out the details about uh, Qasim's whereabouts. Coming back to you, Gursimran, there is zero tolerance for terror because this is not the old Jammu and Kashmir, it is Naya Kashmir under PM Modi. And the Jammu and Kashmir police have announced a 10 lakh cash reward for the whereabouts of Qasim. If you could brief our viewers about his role in uh, carrying out terror attacks on Indian soil. 
Yes, Jammu and Kashmir police has announced a 10 lakh reward on the terrorist Qasim Gujar alias Suleiman, who is from the Angrala area of the Riyasi district, Smahor area. He is the one who has been pushing the money via drones for the terrorists and their supporters to fight the court cases. He has been instrumental in pushing the weapons, the narcotics, uh, the IDs, uh, ready to use IDs, as well as uh, the cash into the Indian territory. He was involved in the attack. He was a mastermind of the attack in the uh, West. Devi pilgrims in 2022 and in 2023 the bomb blast the serial id blast that took place in the narwal area of jammu that was uh, to it, how he uh, cultivated his sources a government teacher was uh, part of that module who carried out uh, uh, these id attacks and now the jammu and kashmir police has announced 10 lakh reward important to mention that the property of uh, this said terrorist that is also on the radar of the agency and the uh, uh, action will follow in the days to come but one thing is really concerning that how a, pa a terrorist who is sitting in the Pakistan Sial Court which is just opposite to the Jammu and the Samba district of Jammu he is operating a nexus uh, that is to push narcotics money uh, weapons into the Indian territory via drone on the line of control as well as on the international border there have been multiple uh, attempts of the Pakistani terrorists to push narcotics and uh, Mohammed uh, Qasim identified uh, as one of the key commanders of the uh, terror outfit lashkar e toiba is instrumental in providing this kind of support he is activating his old carders in the mahor area and also ensuring that he uses the social media applications to radicalize the youth of jammu and kashmir yesterday dgp uh, rswain said that they are having a key eye and uh, on what and how the social media is being used and if anyone found indulged in the anti country activities they will be taken to law but one thing is which is most concerning that uh, soon after a series of attacks that have happened on the security forces the group that has carried out these attacks is still at large and the security forces are yet to get any hard intel regarding that right uh, good similar many thanks for joining us with all those details a manhunt has been launched and Qasim alias Suleiman has now is now on the radar of the JNK police. A 10 lakh uh, bounty has also been announced for those who uh, give details about his whereabouts. We'll keep a close track on that.